Hey, you guys, it's your girl, the Empress 555, and I'm coming to you with another one. You already know spirit is in the building. So I decided that I was going to come on here and do um, a you versus the third party reading. We'll see how this turns out. Uh, we're going to see how the masculine feels about you and the intentions as well as the um, third party. All right. <clears throat> Hope everybody's doing great on this Monday. My Monday started off very rough, but it is what it is. You got to take the good with the bad and keep it pushing, right? Keep it pushing. All right. Messages on what I need to see and hear. Clear and concise, intuitive messages as well. Please and thank you, Spirit. Thank you for being here. All right. So we're gonna do <clears throat> we're gonna do you first, and then we're gonna go to the side and do the third party. Okay. So how does the divine masculines feel about the third party how does that I mean <clears throat> about the collective how does the divine counterpart feel about okay mm. so how they feel about you I feel like your person really wants to give you a new stable beginning. I really do feel like this, but they're confused. They're confused on how to do this. Okay? And and they're definitely up all night in their thoughts, cannot sleep because of the way they treated you. I feel like they wanted this new start. I feel like they wanted this new stable beginning, but they had obstacles and people in the way. And so therefore they, you know, possibly left the connection because they, they couldn't make a decision or a choice at that time or at this time. Okay. Third party, third party. How do they feel about the third party right now? <clears throat> I feel like they're, they they were trying to work on this situation with the third party. They were trying to balance things out as well with the third party. That's why they left um, you alone. But in the midst of that, they decided that they wanted to, they, they want to kind of rest on this third party. And they started gam not gambling, but they may have been a gambling because that's what spirit just brought out. But that, to me, they started dealing with other third parties because the third party that they chose to deal with, it just really wasn't happening. It just wasn't nothing gelling well with that situation. So they chose to go out, party, drink, have fun, and everything of that nature because the third party isn't on that level that they thought they were going to be on. They thought they were going to get money together and be together, have children together, and be celebrating, but it just didn't happen like that, okay? Show me what are they and what um what are the intentions with no okay this was the past is what spirit is saying so tell me what's going on with how do they feel now how do they feel now spirit how do they feel now about the collective
they want to rush in, but they're a little confused, you know, because they still have a lot of options and people around um, that are trying to stop them from leaving them alone at this given time. Yeah, they are very much so hiding themselves from you in isolation from you um, because they're trying to, and, they're, and some of them are trying to move forward from you uh, because they understand that somebody else is crazy that's, that's in their energy right now. Somebody don't want them to move on right now. And so now they are very much so, they're confused because they want to come toward you but they know if they come toward you with this night of uh, staff energy, it's like they know if they come in and out again, they're going to lose, okay? They're going to lose. Where are they now with the third party? Third party, please and thank you. So we had the past where they were trying to rebuild with somebody and uh, heal something with somebody, but it really didn't work out that way that was the past but they were really trying to where are they now with the third party spirit right now they're trying to start and manifest a new beginning but the third party is trying to be deceitful and this person is also being deceitful to the third party they're trying to manifest actually behind the third party's back. But the third party is like, like I said, not giving up. Keep constantly coming back because the third party wants a new beginning with this person. But the third party is still lying too. So both of them know that she is still lying or he is still lying, the third party. But the third party wants to try some manipulation skills and it's like they're over there one up in each other manipulating each other playing games with each other right now okay what is the intent with the collective okay i've had two cards to flip over their intent is to balance out this juggling that they have been doing with with you and this person they no longer want to do that they want to balance it out you know they and they also are kind of hard up for money so watch out for that they new stable beginning that they thought they were having they're planning right now they thought they were having a new stable beginning but it kind of blew up in their face and i believe that this third party took some of their money But they do intend, uh, <clears throat> I don't know why, but they do intend on um, manifesting something with you. They have plan. they have some type of plan that they're working on right now that they're trying to manifest something with you, but the plan kind of fell, fell, fell through and it didn't happen. And so, um. Now this person is at lost in regret because they really don't know what's happening, what, why things are not transpiring because they want a new love. They want this new love with you. I believe that you you may have <clears throat> you may have taken taken the control right right here, and you kind of did an unexpected tower moment. You left, and this person thinks that you're kind of going toward a new love, and they don't know how to handle that as well. What are the intentions with the third party? This person's want to start balancing themselves out and making a decision, and they're moving on from the third party with the chariot here. They've gotten the judgment that they need on the third party right now. They got <clears throat> they got the whole shebang of what they they know what's not going to work with this third party. It's not going to work, and so now they are looking toward okay I know what I don't want anymore and now I know what I do want so now I can look toward the future but this person is having a hard time because of this tower moment let's see what the tower was for you guys it was a tower moment on your on your side 
the tower moment. Oh, they tried to communicate with you and it didn't work well. Either you didn't believe this person or this person still has something going on that they're not telling you about. And it kind of made this person sad that you're not believing that they're taking control because the emperor is out here. They're trying to tell you that they're taking control and that they're sorry, but you don't kind of you, you kind of don't believe anything this person says right now. And so it makes this person very sad because they are coming to you truthfully now. And it's like almost like the boy who cried wolf, but now they're crying wolf and you're like, yeah, I don't really believe you. Go about your business. And so that's really hurting this person at this given time. It's, it's burdening this person. What is the chariot? Yeah, this person is moving on from this third party um, because they know it's a missed opportunity, and they know they keep getting breadcrumbs. So they are they are single from this person now. Yeah. So what's the outcome for? The possible outcome please and thank you spirit for the energy that we are reading for now for the um, collective what's the outcome what's the outcome please and thank you spirit the outcome is this person is going to be stuck on you stuck on you in the near future, this person is still going to be stuck on you, although you did leave. Mm. They're going to end that cycle of being stuck on you as well. They are. They're going to end that cycle. They, which makes, I'm feeling like they're going to take some type of action if they end this cycle, but we'll see. Last card, what's the outcome? Please and thank you, spirit. Oh, yeah. They're going to end. <clears throat> They're gonna end that cycle and they're gonna show you that you they are wish fulfillment. They're gonna to try to move this thing of, um, of, I don't know why I can't talk today. They're gonna definitely try to move this, um, this connection on. They're gonna to try to move it into calmer waters with you guys. Yeah, with the 10 of Pentacles here. Yeah, they want a family with you. What's the outcome, possible outcome for the third party? Please and thank you, Spirit. What is the outcome? Yeah. The third party, this person's going to be jealous um, about what's going on. This person's not going to want this to happen, of course. Yeah, they're going to be jealous. I can't make this up of, of the soulmate. They're going to try to bring you grief and that this is why that masculine or whoever that the masculine energy cannot move on right now because they know that either way it goes this person is going to try to bring you grief but they're trying to let this person die down a little bit but this person is so damn defensive right now and trying to hold on to this person right now and this person is trying to cut this person off with everything they got in them because they know that they want a new start they want a new beginning somewhere but this toxic energy, is, it keeps coming in and being harsh. But this is the, the, the karma that they have to receive for what they've done to their empress. But this person is definitely going to take their leap of faith toward this empress because that's what they want. And they're going to start blocking things out from this third party. They're just going to keep blocking this queen of wands out because they want success with you. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you versus them. And I'll get back to you soon with another video. I love you guys. Have a great day.